Hello everyone, and welcome to our lesson on the phrasal verb, make up. Phrasal verbs are an important part of the English language, and a make up is one of the most versatile and commonly used ones. This phrasal verb has multiple meanings and can be used in different contexts, making it a bit tricky to understand at times. However, with a little bit of practice, you can learn to use it effectively in your speaking and writing. Let's get started. First meaning. To reconcile or restore a friendly relationship after a disagreement or argument. Examples. After a big fight, Sarah and her best friend made up and apologized to each other. I was so upset with my sister when she forgot my birthday, but we made up after she apologized and bought me a thoughtful gift. After weeks of not talking to each other, John and his girlfriend finally made up and decided to give their relationship another chance. It took some time, but my co-worker and I were able to make up and move past our disagreement to work together effectively. It's never too late to make up with someone you care about and apologize for any hurtful words or actions. Second meaning. To create or invent something, such as a story or an excuse. Examples. She made up a story about getting stuck in traffic to explain why she was late for the meeting. The teacher knew the student had forgotten to do his homework, but he made up a story about his dog eating it. When asked about his qualifications for the job, the candidate had to make up some of his answers because he didn't have the required experience. She likes to make up stories to entertain her friends. 3. Here are a few examples to illustrate the meaning of to compensate for something missed or lost by doing something extra. Examples I missed my exercise yesterday, so I'll make it up by going for a run today. He skipped breakfast this morning, so he made it up by having a big lunch and snacking throughout the day. She was unable to attend her son's school play, but she made it up to him by taking him on a fun outing the next day. The athlete had to sit out of the game due to an injury, but he made it up by training harder and coming back stronger for the next match. 4. To apply cosmetics or makeup to one's face. She made up her face for the party and looked stunning. She loves experimenting with different makeup looks and spends hours every day making up her face. The actress had a team of makeup artists to make up her face for the movie shoot. She always makes up her face before going out, even if it's just to run errands. Here are a few examples to illustrate the meaning of to form a complete whole or set by putting together different parts or elements. Examples The company made up a new product line by combining different technologies and designs. The chef made up a new recipe by combining different spices and ingredients. The designer made up a collection of dresses using different fabrics and prints. The marketing team made up a presentation by gathering data and insights from various sources. 6. To reach a specific amount or number by adding up or combining different elements. The total expenses for the project made up more than half of the budget. The sales from the new product line made up more than half of the company's revenue for the quarter. The donations made up a significant portion of the funds needed to build the community center. The hotel room rate was made up of the room charge, taxes and additional fees. 7. To prepare something, such as a bed or a room, for someone to use. Examples The hotel staff made up the room with fresh linens and towels before the guests arrived. She made up the guest room with clean sheets, towels, and toiletries for her visiting friend. The flight attendant made up the first-class seats with blankets and pillows before the passengers boarded. The maid made up the suite in the five-star hotel with fresh flowers, chocolates, and other amenities. To recover lost time, such as by working extra hours or days to catch up on missed work. Examples 
After taking a week off, he had to make up for the lost time by working on weekends. The team missed a deadline on a project, so they had to make up for lost time by working late hours and weekends to complete it. She missed several days of work due to illness, but she made up for it by working overtime during the weekend. The construction crew had to make up for lost time due to bad weather by working extra hours during the week. It's worth noting that make up is often used as an inseparable verb, meaning that the object cannot be placed between make and up. For example, you would say she likes to make up stories rather than she likes to make stories up. Also, in the context of applying cosmetics or paint, makeup can be used as a noun. For example, she has a lot of makeup in her bag. As always, the meaning of a makeup can vary depending on the context in which it's used, so it's important to consider the situation and tone of the conversation. That concludes our lesson on the phrasal verb makeup. Keep practicing. And don't be afraid to use this phrasal verb in your everyday conversations or writing. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.